bubbly rosé. Oh, and this one is 100% Zinfandel. As opposed to 85% Zin, 15% Syrah. Again, really beautiful color, really fun. Mm, again, not really um, letting me in on what it smells like too much, but let's just try it. Okay, there is a sweetness in there, but it's like a depth. It's not like a sweet over the tongue sweetness. It's like a an aftertaste sweetness. But again, it's got this like denser feel to it that's not quite like Prosecco or other bubbles. And this is not quite like that Gallivant Bubbly Rosé that we have. This is more a very drinkable rosé that happens to have a little fizz to it is what I would call this. Hmm. And that's nice too because I don't know, Zin just has such a rounded taste to it. I prefer the taste of this with a little Syrah in it, uh, but I would also drink this. I like the white the best though so far. This one I could go either way. I could drink it out of the can and it tastes pretty good, but if you drink it out of the glass you're going to get more of that bubble effect. So I think that's the takeaway with these canned bubbles is if you're looking for the bubbles buzz, you can get that either way because it's carbonated. But if you're looking for that sophisticated taste with a little more bubbles dancing across the tongue, go with a glass. But I do think you still get the same amount of flavor out of the can, but not quite as much bubbles presence.